Um, thanks for having me. We're thrilled to get back on the road. I think, um, you know, what an accomplishment for any team that's able to travel right now. Uh, the amount of work that goes into getting your um, teams on the road is tremendous. And so uh, the fact that this will be our second trip to Florida, we're really thrilled and fortunate to do that. Um, we've got a lot of young players and um, last trip that was a few, I would say six of our starting nine, the first Big Ten game they'd ever played. And so um, to get to do that was was tremendous and see people out there playing that competition. And we're excited to get out there for another weekend. And, you know, you get a weekend against Ohio State and Michigan, and that's a, a great weekend for anyone. I think every sports fan, every Wisconsin fan would love to see their teams match up against those two powerhouses. So we're thrilled to get back on the road. Coach, um, I understand you have six new freshmen this year. With the games that you've played so far, how are they acclimating? Uh, they're doing a great job. You know, we've got freshmen plus a couple um, sophomores that um, last year redshirted, and then the other sophomores that didn't redshirt never got a Big Ten game in. So um, you look at those players and just think, like, what a bright future they have. Um, Skylar Skardashian um, was just tremendous as a freshman, came out pretty fearless and, and played third base and got a lot of innings in for us and just a real physical kid that um, has a great body for sports and will keep getting stronger. So that was really fun to um, see. And then um, a new face on the mound. Um, Maddie Schwartz, I think was just, you know, we've gotten to see it in practice a lot, but I don't think everyone has seen that. But when you have a player like that, that got the ball and, you know, Maddie's one of those great Wisconsin stories, although, although she is a Minnesota gal, um, grew up as, as Badger fans and, and a grandpa that went to Wisconsin and came to us as a walk-on to become a scholarship kid. And then to throw three Big Ten shutouts in one weekend, you know, we'll have to challenge the AFCOM staff, staff to look up if that's ever been done before. But, you know, a lot of pitchers won't throw three shutouts in a season, let alone against Big Ten teams in one weekend. Um, one of those, unfortunately, was a loss that she threw a shutout game against Maryland um, and it went to extra innings and we lost in extras. But what a tremendous effort on the mound. So that's another rising star and new face that um, put a lot of smiles on, on fans' faces last weekend. We've got a question from Diane. So you guys have had, actually had now almost two weeks since your last competitions down in Florida. What have you guys been working on that you think you need to improve upon to face now like Michigan this coming weekend? <laughs> Well, you know, years like this, when you're so young, you focus so much on yourself. And that's fun as a coach that, you know, you can't get caught up in the scouting report because Michigan's outstanding, Ohio State's outstanding. And, and our goal is just to be a little better every day. And so you get back to the drawing board. I mean, we are indoors. So that part is hard that you wish coming home, you could, you know, get out on the dirt and, and work on some things or work on sun balls. And, and that's not really our world. Um, but just getting back to basics, you know, we're a fundamental team. Our goal is to play hard, not beat our ourselves, you know, play our kind of softball where we control the tempo. Um, and so watching us kind of get back to basics of how do we just keep being a better version of ourselves? Um, it's a fun way to coach. Is there anything you're specifically focusing on because you didn't have the non-conference games leading up into the Big Ten games? Are you preparing any differently or... Well, uh, certainly it's it's challenging um, not having those non-conference games because I think you learn a lot about your team, usually the first 25 games of the season before you kick into Big Ten play. So right out of the gate to have to face a Power Five team every single game, there's not that acclimation period. Um, but I'm so proud of the team. You just have to learn, use these Big Ten games to get better. And so, you know, the, the proof will be at the end of the year. And I think playing great competition right out of the gate um, – it's hard, but there's so much learning going on. And so, you know, these games are going to be, you know, inc incredibly intense, but we just talk about it's a chance to make memories. You get any win against Michigan, every Badger that's ever put on the, the motion W, you get a win against Michigan, you get a win against Ohio State. Those are stories that you are telling, you know, your fans and your friends and your family for years to come. So opening weekend, getting to take two wins from uh, Penn State and sweep them. What an awesome start to so many players' Big Ten careers that those were their first Big Ten games. And to say that you were able to do that um, against a tremendous program and, a, and an athletics department like Penn State. So this weekend, it's the same thing. It's like, how do we, how do we go out there and, and work on making memories and have moments against great teams where you can walk away and, you know, you put up a W in, in, in those series and it's a, a really big deal for these young players. Um, and one last question, 
there you were in Florida just um, for your opening weekend and now you're returning to the same area. What is this neutral site like with all for all the Big Ten teams and, and how has the team enjoyed it? Well, it, it certainly has the Big Ten tournament feel. You get all of these great teams and programs and coaches and players in one place. And I did see some of our younger players a little bit awestruck of seeing some of the players of the year walking by that are on, you know, other teams getting to be in the same vicinity and, and even walking on and off the field, you're watching tremendous games going on and hearing the roar of the crowd as you're walking away. So the atmosphere was great. Um, you know, it's not ideal not to have fans all over the stands, but I think the whole world is, you know, operating at not ideal and just doing our best, but to have our parents in the outfield, I think the, the players were just so grateful to, to get to play in front of some fans, you know, make a play and steal a base and, you know, hit a ball over the fence and, and bring the fans to their feet was such a cool thing. And so uh, it's certainly hot and we're not used to that side for how, how chilly it's been, but um getting to play together in the same stadium, it gives you a lot of pride for the Big Ten and, and the tremendous athletes and coaches that are in this, uh, in this conference.